All right, so we have a 2005 Pontiac G6 here in the shop today. Uh, it's got an oil leak, and uh, when he first contacted me, I originally assumed it's got the 3.5 V6. I originally assumed it was the intake gaskets, or maybe that uh, distributor block off with a little O-ring. Those leak pretty common. Those are pretty common leaks on these. Probably can't get the camera down in there real well, but it's all dry right there where it's nor where it normally leaks. So I went underneath the car, and this is what I found, uh, which is also pretty common on these. So here's the oil filter adapter. I've already taken uh, taken the oil filter off, and what it is, it's leaking down. You know, this adapter, <clears throat> this adapter bolts to this block. And there's a gasket behind there. It's a, it's partially uh, composite and then some rubber. And usually the rubber blows out on it, the rubber part of it on the outside edge. And uh, you can see it's pretty oily up there. I'd only had it in the shop for a few minutes and it was already starting to puddle up uh, on the garage shop here. So there's three bolts on these. There's one here, one here, and then there's one behind this uh, air conditioning compressor. And from what I remember, GM leaves, leaves this housing slotted. So all you have to do is just kind of get behind there and loosen it, uh, and then it'll slide out instead of having to take this whole AC compressor off, which is nice. Usually GM doesn't do those kind of things, uh, or any manufacturer for that matter. But I'm pretty sure that's how that's set up on these. So we're gonna work on taking out uh, this bowl here, and then there's one up there a little bit farther and then there's one behind the compressor so and I believe those are 10 millimeter bolts uh, I'll get it down and I'll kind of show you what's going on if you have the same problem these usually aren't too bad someone had over tightened this oil filter uh, extremely tight on here so I'm going to have to get a different oil filter for it but uh, you shouldn't lose much oil if you do this so anyway we'll uh, work on getting those out and then I'll pull this housing off and kind of show you what that's all about Alright, so you can see here I had the housing off. Here's the housing. It has the three bolts. It's got that slot right here uh, by the AC compressor. I still had to take the AC compressor loose a little bit. I pulled the servitine belt and uh, loosened the compressor. I didn't take it down all the way. Uh, the reason why was because these bolts were extremely tight for some reason. And you know, it was trying, my open end was trying to round that bolt head off and I didn't want to do that so if you if you run into that just take the belt off your serpentine belt off and loosen your AC compressor up you don't have to take it all the way off just loosen enough to get behind there with a good box in and as you can see here the gas is still up there so uh, it's basically falling apart as I put well it just fell apart as I pulled it down so you can leave you can leave that that bolt in there and then the gasket itself just fell apart but you can see the gas has got a slot here too so you can just slide it back in there and uh, without taking the AC compressor off you can leave that on so this is uh, definitely wore out and then normally I think there's a uh, in the middle here normally there's a rubber seal there and that's that's just gone I don't know if it's just wore out or didn't have it if that's a new this is just an original one the new design does but I'm pretty sure the new gasket has a rubber seal around the middle here so I don't know we'll go to the auto parts store and uh, find out but yeah this thing seen better days and that's where the oil leak was at so we'll go get the gasket and a new oil filter and uh, put it back together all right so I got back from the auto parts store got the new uh, gasket you can see here it's got this seal around the middle. This is gone on this one. And uh, that's basically the difference on them. And then I went ahead and cleaned this housing up. Put in the wire wheel, hit the brake clean. That way if it's leaking again later or whatever, you can double check and make sure it's easier to tell if you got a new leak. So it's always good to clean these up. You know, clean the bottom, the surfaces. Uh, before you put it back on so we're gonna get to work on it get it back together 
So up here, of course, I cleaned that up real good. So you want to make sure both surfaces are clear and clean. And then uh, we'll go ahead and put the new gasket and the housing back up there. All right, so I got it up there. I got the gasket on it. Uh, again, you're putting these three bolts back in. Now this one back here, right there, this one here, that's the one that's hard to get to. You got to be patient with it. Uh, like I said, it's got the slot there where you don't have to remove this AC compressor, but it was so tight on this one that I had to uh, loosen the AC compressor to give me enough room to get a box end on it. Sometimes they're not that tight. Uh, this one was. So at this point, it's all back together. Uh, and I'll just tighten the AC compressor back up. There's one bowl here and uh, two on the top. And that'll pull the AC compressor back to the block, and then we'll put the belt back on, oil filter back on, and this one's ready to go. Um, one thing I'll add, if you're going to do this, uh, the other two bolts, if you have a flex, a flex head ratchet, that helps a lot, because it's kind of at a weird angle, taking those down, these other two. These other two you can get to with a ratchet, you know, a flex head, a 10 millimeter. Um, they are pretty tight. So keep that in mind. If you got a small ratchet, it's going to be kind of a pain to get it off. And that that one there, uh, if you have trouble with it, just be patient. And uh, I use a combination of I use a longer wrench to get it loose, and then I used uh, my stubby wrench to uh, finish it up. So the next step at this point is to tighten this AC compressor back up. So if you have to loosen your AC compressor, there's three bolts. There's one here on the bottom. We'll tighten that one up and then there's two on the top. All right, so on top here, when you get to the uh, AC compressor, I, w I already went ahead and removed this uh, air intake here. Set it off to the side, and then if you end up loosening your AC compressor, you got to get these two bolts down here tight. There's one here and one there. So just uh, those are the ones you have to loosen. And you don't have to pull this compressor all the way out. Just loosen it up enough to where it gives you room to get to that bolt in the bottom. There's no point in uh, pulling the compressor completely out. Just loosen it up pretty well and. Uh, It'll give you enough room to get that bolt out on the bottom if you need to. So I'm just going to tighten these two bolts, put the servitine belt back on, and then we'll move down to the oil filter. Alright, in case you didn't know, the tensioner on these belts is down in there where that ratchet's at. It's kind of hard to see. That's a 3 8 There's a 3 8 uh, square head in there, female, and you just put a 3 8 ratchet down in there, a long one. I got a long one down here with an extension. Uh, usually what I use. I, they, I actually have a special tool that goes in there, but I normally don't use it. I just use my ratchet. Um, so yeah, just, just a regular 3 8 inch ratchet will work with these uh, tensioners. You just release the tension and put it back on the, you know, then put the belt back around. Uh, I don't, I probably didn't have to pull the belt off on this. I didn't pull it off all the way actually, but uh, I just wanted to relieve the tension off the belt for that AC compressor. So we'll just I'll just put that back on now and that's part will be done. This this air intake pipe is pretty self-explanatory. You got one clamp there, one clamp here, just line your notch up with the arrow. Then you just have one bolt right here by the radiator. And that's 10 millimeter. And now we're ready for uh, oil filter and oil. Check the oil and add some. Uh, we had to put a new oil filter on this one. Like I said before, it was it was someone over torqued it, so it may take about a half a quart of oil. Uh, we'll check it. But uh, anyway, that's pretty much the job on this one. I'll put the oil filter on. We'll check the oil and see what we got. All right, so we're back under this uh, G6, looking for any oil leaks. Um, you know, before I put the oil filter up, I I filled it uh, about halfway up with the oil. And as you can see here, it's clean, no leaks. Got a little smoke from the oil getting on the uh, exhaust, but uh, there's no leaks. 
and uh, you know before the oil was was leaking out from the top and running along the oil filter here and dripping down on the garage or the street or whatever so that's a that's a this is a pretty common thing on these cars it's not too hard to fix um you know just replace that gas if you got if your car is leaving its mark on your driveway or your street and you got one of these gm uh, v6s that's one of the first i always check the you know the intake gaskets and that and, and uh this is another real common issue on those is that adapter gasket so this one's fixed i ran it for about 10 minutes you can see it's still dry so i'll uh check the oil one more time and then uh send this old hoopty back down the road and uh by the way on this car it's actually i think for sale so if anyone's interested in a clean 2005 pontiac g6 go ahead and contact me and i can get you uh i can get you in contact with the owner on it